So here's a quick tip how to get really organized in Procreate in a quick and easy way. As you can see in Procreate, when you have files that you have sorted in stacks, you can only see the first artwork in that stack. You can see a hint of the two next artwork below the first one, but you still can't see really what's inside of that stack. You can tap select, tap a stack and tap preview, and that will show you the artwork within that stack, but you won't see the small thumbnails. So this is my trick, how to see what's inside the stacks when you're on your home screen in Procreate, which will make it much easier to scroll through your artwork and find what's inside your stacks. My way of doing this is the following. When you have a stack, you tap into that stack and then you take a screenshot of what's inside of that stack. That screenshot will end up in your camera roll. So the next step when you're inside of your stack is to tap photo over here, tap the screenshot, which will add the screenshot as the first file in that stack. When you then tap out of that stack, you will get a preview of the first files that are within that stack, which will make it much easier for you to see what's inside of the stack and where the files are that you want to find. So let's do the same with the other stacks. I will tap into a stack, create a screenshot, tap photo, and just add the preview like that. Then I will do the same with all of my stacks. And that will make it much easier for me to see what's inside the stacks. And it will make it so much easier to find my files in the future when I might have forgotten what I created within those stacks. So this is a quick way of organizing your files with preview images in Procreate. If you found this tip useful, you might find it useful to watch my full Skillshare class on organizing and backup your files in Procreate or my other Skillshare classes about creating patterns and illustrations in Procreate and other apps. You can check out all of my classes at myafaber.com slash try Skillshare, where you will also get one month free trial membership on Skillshare if you use that link. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. If you want to see more tutorials from me, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel to make sure that you don't miss out on my future videos.